It's been a minute since I've done this. Uh, so let me see. Uh, where do I start? I know the last video has been like a couple of months, maybe a year. I know the why not this video has been like maybe four, five years. So, first things first. This is just an overall update video on what I'm going to do in the near future, what I'm trying to do with my YouTube channel, yada, 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 etc. Because, you know, for those that do watch the channel or was watching the channel, I do apologize for not being consistent with videos, but I'm trying to redo it, like I said, and be more consistent clearly and make more videos, more content, or new stuff on what I'm doing. So, first things first, just an update. Like I said, recently I joined the military, I joined the Army Reserves. Um, I did that because I was looking for a change of speed, something new in my life. Uh, also, jump job security. Uh, what I mean by that is, for those who don't know, I was in China for a little bit of 2021. I was in Beijing and Jinan um, doing the basketball academy thing, training kids and stuff like that and athletes over there, which is very cool. I was super excited about that. I was going to definitely go and try to make my YouTube channel boom over there. I know it would have been easy to get like a great following. I had a whole plan over there doing my eggs in that basket when I left. But I knew it's going to be a great outcome. I was going to try to sneak my way into CBA somehow because I was meeting people over there. And then boom, randomly, COVID-19 happened and it shut all that shit down. And they sent us back. I'm thinking I was going to go back like it's just a flu. Like they're going to fucking clear that shit up and we'll be good. All the trainers are going to go back. Me and my boy, my roommate Davis, who's from Oregon. Uh, we're thinking like, yeah, like, yeah, we're gonna go back soon. Like, we're only gonna be here for a couple of months in the states. Then shit got bad over here, and they're like, yo, you're on flight risk if y'all come back. Yada yada yada. They bullshitted us, and shit went to hell. And that plan was done. Then I was just stuck over here. Like, yo, I threw all my eggs in my basket. Like, what am I gonna do? Like, I don't have like the best of job. I'm trying to find a new job, a different job, whatever. Then I go back to playing in the ABA and ECBL. I'm sitting here thinking like fucking wasting my Saturdays and all this other shit I'm just doing this semi-pro stuff or like semi-perfect whatever you want to call it and I'm training still like like I love training and like seeing all the kids and players get better but I'm like damn I really need some job security so end up joining Army Reserves and then like went through that we'll talk about my experience there with that but uh as soon as I added that to my resume had a job place like that right before I came home. So I'm excited about starting that new job though um, in the upcoming week. So that's the only reason why I really joined the military, looking for job security, like I said, and I actually ended up liking it, like being that basic, being around weapons and stuff like that, something that I kind of put off. I should wish I would have joined after college, but you know, things happen for a reason. So um yeah, let me get to my experience. For those who don't know, I'm 28 years old. So I didn't join kind of at a young age, but I definitely had been around people that was in my base that was older than me. So don't be afraid to join. Or if you were thinking about it, like don't be like, oh, my body's not ready. I can't take it. Like you'll be fine. Trust me. If you were some type of athlete or being active before you went, your body can't handle the workload because they are going to throw your body under like crazy amounts of stress, I would say. Some people are not used to it, like the rocking, the walking far, with weight on your back, holding your weapon from period of time. Uh, they're gonna smoke the shit out of you as soon as you get there. Some people are not used to those push-ups, crunches, yada, yada, yada. But if you go in some type of athletic or like working out or in shape, you'll, I think you'll be fine. So don't be afraid and worried about that. You're gonna run they're going to do body weight workouts, push-ups, sit-ups, crunches. They're going to make you do all that traffic. So you're going to lose weight. You're going to get in shape. But it's a amount of stress that your body is under because a lot of people get hurt. And you don't want to get hurt because if you go to fucking sick hall or whatever, they're going to put you on crutches and then you're going to get recycled. You're going to get pushed back even further. And it's going to take longer. The fastest way to get out that shit is fucking graduating on time. So just keep that in mind. Oh, I'm trying to take care of your body the whole time there. Don't be doing stupid shit. Um, a lot of people think like they're going to have an authority problem when they get there because they're like they're older. Like, no, it should be easier for you. Like, 
you're gonna get told what to do the whole time you're there. So just shut up and just listen, follow directions. Um, there's also gonna be teamwork you're gonna have to do for sure. Um, and it's gonna be kind of hard because it's gonna be people younger than you. There's gonna be people older than you, like different walks of life, how they look at things, outcomes, but that's what makes it so great when y'all actually come together and figure shit out. So just be patient if you're older going and then if you're younger going, my advice is like, yo, be understanding and just have an open ear and just learn and listen and shut up because you can't learn if you're talking. So just keep that in mind too for all my young people ever thinking about joining the military. That's my little bit of experience from what I've been in so far. I also didn't want to make this video until I actually did my first drill weekend, which was like last weekend. Uh, it was pretty chill for the most part, doing paperwork, did PT of course, um, getting prepared for annual training, which I have this upcoming month. And April, I think we're going to Jersey. I don't know, I have to look at the schedule. But annual training, two weeks, uh, doing different stuff. Uh, of course, I'm gonna be doing some driver training from what they told me, because my MOS is an 88 mic, uh, which is pretty cool. I heard we most versatile, we can do a lot of stuff. We can end up doing different trainings and stuff like that, because 88 mic is used for everything and we go everywhere. So that was pretty cool MOS, I think that I picked. I wanted it, wish I would've gotten the field artillery I might. Later in the future, I was just thinking about it. I think that's cool. Um, I heard some military is doing some new things with fitness as well, so I might be interested in that. But first thing first, I want to get out the way is OCS, Officer Candidate School. I should have done that right after basic, but some things with the ASVAB and GT School, it's just a tricky game. But those are going to be my near plans in the future, going to OCS first. Um, and once I do OCS, I really want to do aerosol, airborne, all these different types of schools, see what my body can do. I'll push my body a little bit to the limits while I'm still kind of young and in shape, of course, because I mean, I'm already in it. So I might as well, like, what is there to be worried about or scared about now? So um, and definitely like trusting the training, knowing the training makes me a better soldier. So that's my outcome in looking at it. Um, to answer a few questions people have been asking me, of course, am I still going to train? yes and no i love basketball still i'm just not ball is in life anymore that's how i'm looking at it uh so i'm not going to be playing as much open gym wise and stuff like that i'm going to still watch basketball of course i watch the nba college it's march madness like i'd be crazy not to watch basketball i always want to be updated with the game still just in case i do want to train or still want to train an athlete somebody asks me like yo can you help me get some shots i work on my game i'm still always going to be available because or I love the kids, <laughs> or I love the athletes still. So, yeah, I'm still trained if need be. Uh, strength and conditioning wise, uh, yeah. For anybody that needs to want to get stronger or better themselves, like I, it's gonna be hard for me to turn them down. Um, but far as personally, like on as much as I was doing it, I'm not gonna be doing it on such a high level at the gym every day, things like that. Um, I want to do different things now open up my YouTube channel to different shit. Uh, it's gonna be at the range more now, of course, cause I wanna keep, I have to qualify and do stuff like that. So I wanna be a very, I wanna be able to shoot with multiple weapons. So I'm gonna add onto my weapons card and do stuff like that. Um, open up the door for that. Also, I want to freaking, I got a new vehicle. So I wanna do car modification. So you'll be able to see stuff like that. I just wanna do multiple different things. So I wanna open the door to that and then show people like, sometimes it is a different life outside of basketball. And I'm not saying like, don't chase your dreams anymore. Cause I'm never gonna tell them like, don't chase their dreams. But sometimes you gotta realize when to check your reality and maybe put a hold on your dream for the moment if that kind of sound and that makes sense. Or you might need to find a different purpose in life. That's just me personally. So um, take those words as it may. Um, but like I said, I'm here. If anybody has any questions about the military, I know I'm new in the game. I'm still learning. I'm still doing all these different stuff, trying to learn the best way I can. But if I can help anybody that's ever been interested in giving them my aspect of what I've seen so far, then I have no problem in doing that. So, you know, somebody keep calling me. Yeah, feel free to reach out, uh, like, subscribe to the video. Uh, it's my first one of uh, redoing like the new YouTube page. Give, give me some time work with me. Also, I'm gonna be trying to stream next 
so yeah we'll be on twitch i might not be as nice as my boy tj on the call of duty but if you want to laugh and shoot the shit with me we can do that i also gonna be playing single player games and shit like that too so but i might get back on that 2k wave of madden so one of those guys i'm gonna do something for sure i'm gonna try it i ain't got nothing but time since i'm home too for a little bit and yeah that's pretty much it so yeah i'll holler at y'all appreciate you watching the video and uh peace